Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a pantry clean and organization video. Um, this is a long overdue project that I've had in the back of my mind and I just need to go ahead and tackle it. It looks very bad. I started to organize it um, when we moved in just so that everything was in a place and it was somewhat organized but it's gotten out of hand since then it's only been a couple of months or actually a few months and it's just disastrous so let me go ahead and show you the pantry so it's not a huge pantry but it get it's perfect for us we don't have a ton of people to feed at our house but guys look at it <laughs> it is so bad and I'm kind of utilizing the floor in the bottom shelf and the top shelf as extra storage for um, kitchen type items. Um, but I do have like some food up there. But we will get all of that out. We'll clean the shelves. We'll um, organize the food. I have some bins that I'll show you here in a minute that I'll utilize to do that. But um, yeah, this is a great before shot of this disastrous pantry okay so here are all the items that I'm going to use to help with this pantry organization um, I got this box from Amazon it is a 10 container set that um, I got for I think it was I think it was a le little less than $50 but that was a pretty good deal as far as what I could find at other stores um, these are some things that I've already had these baskets are so pretty and I bought them and they're I'm ashamed at how much I spent on these baskets but I just thought they're so pretty and I can link these down below um, and I can I think there's a knockoff of these but for some reason I just thought I had to have the real thing but this is the brand Yamazaki and you can find them on Amazon um, and I think Walmart as well and the container store um, and then I'm gonna probably use this basket this is just another basket that I had on hand that I'll use and so yeah these are all the things and I have some labels I'll show you those so here are the labels that I printed off that I may use um, I don't have everything that is on this um, sheet of paper and then there are some things that I have that's not on this label and I found these on Pinterest and it's from uh, a blog called Anderson Grant um, I'm not sure I've never really heard of them but I was just looking for labels and so I can link these down below as well I just needed something that looked okay with the white inside of the label I guess because I don't have a special printer I couldn't print just like the word if that makes sense so I had to do something I could cut out and then tape onto the the jars now that I've done a before shot of the pantry now we're going to go ahead and get started so if you have a pantry that needs organized and you're watching this video go ahead and organize it with me or watch this video and then organize your pantry um, after you get some inspiration and motivation to do it yourself so the first thing I'm gonna do is take everything out of the pantry it's the easiest for me when I can just start with a clean slate when it comes to organizing and decluttering so I just take everything out I go through it You'll see me later in the video go through all of the food and take out anything that's expired, throw it away, and it helps me to be able to organize better and have a better outcome. So I suggest if you're organizing your pantry, then just take everything out, go through it, and then put everything back once it's organized and decluttered. So the next thing that I'm doing is spraying down the shelves and giving them a quick wipe down. I thought since I already had everything out, this will be a great time to do that. And then here I'm 
just grabbed a trash bag and now I'm gonna go through my food and see what's expired, what do we have that can be thrown away. We get into a habit where we'll leave packages almost empty, not quite there, and then it gets old. So some of these things you'll see that there's still food in there. However, it's like two raisins or like <laughs> just a little bit of coffee. So um, at that point, I either combine it and then I put them or I just throw it away. containers or actually I did this with all of them I rinsed them out and I wiped them down with a paper towel um, some of these were new so I didn't feel like I needed to actually put them in the dishwasher and wash them um, maybe I should have let me know if whenever you guys get new stuff like that do you wash it before you put your food in it I all I did was rinse it and wipe it down um, and then some of the things that I already had, they were kind of dusty, so I also rinsed those out and then wiped those down as well. After watching the video back, I realized that this container was way too big for what I put in it. However, if this were a full box of cereal, I feel like it would have been the perfect size, but it was like literally less than half full, so that's why it looks so um, dinky <laughs> in the um, container that I put it in.
the Rubbermaid containers that I showed you earlier in the video I feel like will do a great job at keeping my food fresher for longer. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell in the videos, but while I'm trying to put the lid on, I feel like it's getting that tight seal to keep my food fresher for longer. So I think I'm really going to like these. And I will also leave the link to these um, in the description box below if you're interested. Now I'm starting to put everything back in the pantry. Um, I started with the things that I knew I wanted to go back in there as far as the appliances that I don't necessarily like to keep on my countertops. Um, but you'll see me move things around to see how I can get the most use out of the space that I have. my new basket with canned goods. I don't know if I'm the only person that's like this, but whenever you get something new that you can use like this, does it just give you like pure satisfaction to put it to use for why you bought it? Um, I just had, I don't know why, I just had so much satisfaction from using my basket that I loved and putting it to use and putting it where I had envisioned it this whole time. And I just love the way that those baskets look, how they're farmhousey, but also still functional. my fur babies helping me. <laughs> um, 
The one with the purple collar is Harper and the one with the blue collar is Lady. And they are just so sweet, however they shed so bad. So that's part of the reason why you saw me sweeping the bottom or the floor portion of the pantry, just because it was full of dog hair, gross, but real life. <laughs> All right, you guys, so it is finally finished. It did not take me as long as I thought it was going to take me, but I am so happy with the way this turned out. Um, I'll show you kind of my thought process. Um, again, I said I used some of this storage space for random kitchen things. I don't like to have my toaster or my coffee pot just hanging out on the counter. I feel like it makes it look cluttered, so I just store it away when I'm not using them. And then here I have like all the baking stuff. I have my flour, brown sugar, white sugar, pancake mix, chocolate chips, cocoa, um, and some sprinkles. And then here I have some of the things I use more on a daily basis. Um, like my cereal, oats, pasta, rice. Rice is in that um, container right there. And then some coffee and some teas and drink mixes. And then here on the next shelf, I have like my canned goods in this basket and then some produce, um, like some produce that doesn't need to necessarily be in the refrigerator. And then my bread. And then here I have these two bins that I actually found in my house. I forgot I had them and they were perfect for this. So these are just like, like things that go in the bag and then um, these are like boxed packaged stuff and on the bottom I have my Instapot I was going to put it on the top shelf but it wouldn't fit it was too tall excuse you lady <laughs> and then um, I have my trash bags in this basket I had like three rolls of trash bags going on so I was like let me put them all in one basket and then I'll use one and then start on another one <laughs> so I'm not like have half rolls of trash bags but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I really enjoyed filming this and I really enjoy the way that it looks now it looks so much more organized and so much more clean I can know what I have better just because everything's not pushed to the back everything is kind of move forward it's I can see it they're in like clear containers and let me just show you the amount of trash that I got rid of from this all of this is trash from my well not my shoes my flip-flops but from the pantry can you imagine like the space that all that took up and then this is it <laughs> just the amount of space that I've gotten from taking things out of their um, package that they came in at the store and then putting them in my own containers I feel like it saves a lot of space so if you haven't cleaned out your pantry I recommend that you do so if you're running out of space and you have a smaller pantry like mine especially um, but yeah, I really like the way that it looks, and I'm really happy that it turned out the way it did. Here's one last shot of the after. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go ahead and hit the thumbs up, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Bye guys, and I'll see you in my next video.